From civil rights to the war in Iraq, imagine a seven-year-old boy who dreams of changing the world. Just whenever he thought something was wrong, he would ask who should he write to and wanted to do something about it. That's the kind of kid he was. He may not have saved the planet, but his family says he saved lives. The story of what happened to little Jacob and the gifts he left behind coming up next on Good Evening Arizona. We have a very special storyteller for you tonight. It's a heartfelt look at a seven-year-old angel, Jacob Crespo, passed away last week from a sudden blood clot in his brain. But as Steve Bodnay shows us, although he only walked this earth for seven years, little Jacob is still giving to others. Steve? Hey, Patty, this is not a story of mourning, but one of celebration. Little Jacob Crespo did more good deeds in seven years than an army of people do in a lifetime. He had a huge heart that is still beating as it saves the life of a young child in Tucson, proving Jacob Crespo is an incredible gift, a gift that keeps on giving. He literally has the face of an angel because he is one. How do we know? I was wondering if I could do something nice for dogs. What seven-year-old gives up all their birthday gifts for hard luck hounds? Dogs at the shelter don't have any, uh, they don't get birthdays and they don't get that much of toys. He also gave his heart and life savings to the heartbroken family of a slain Valley policeman. He wanted, he saw it on the news, he saw it on News Channel 3 and he wanted to donate the money he had in his piggy bank. So he went, he told my mom, take me down to News Channel 3, I have to go down there, I have to give them something. And so he had a handful, it was like a Ziploc baggie filled with change and he gave it to um, the father of the officer that had passed. Jacob's mom, Corey, and his grandma, Terry, know something about giving. And to really know Jacob, you first need to know them. Well, the young kids really need to start getting involved in our environment because... I first met 12-year-old Corey after she won a scholarship from singer John Denver's Windstar Association for her environmental work. As long as there are, there are young people who have a vision and who are willing to take responsibility for making that vision a reality, then... Uh, then we have a future. Corey and her mom began working for Mother Earth after Corey's sister Amy's heart stopped. They both believed the cause was contaminated drinking water. The contaminated well water, it, I mean, there were other kids that had the same thing she did. And so it was just not a coincidence. Jacob joined their fight at an age when other kids are busy being kids. Uh, Jacob did a lot. He helped out at um, Indian reservations. He went to meetings, he held his signs, he, um, he did a lot. He helped fundraise for kids to be sent to camp uh, for the summer. And when we see things on TV that are really sad about the environment, he goes, Grandma, get their phone number, we gotta call them. And for him to be gone now, it's really, I can't believe it. And a lot of people say, but look at all the children's lives he saved. He's still giving. And this little angel is still saving lives by giving the greatest gift any of us can possibly give to another. Jacob is giving again, and I know that Jacob would want us to do that. I know he would. Now, just after 5.30, we're going to continue Jacob's story and tell you how today seven young boys are alive and doing well because of the big heart of this littlest angel. I'm Steve Bodine for 3TV, the place with more news. Patty, if you want to join in on Jacob's causes, you can try our hotline. You can try our also our website, and we'll be glad to give you that information, and you can help out the places he thought were so important. Come back at 530. We'll show you the rest of this beautiful story. It is a beautiful story, and we'll be here waiting. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Thanks.